Thank you, Richard. I never have a problem with your questions. It's the length of the question that I have a problem with. Um, I'm sure you're all wondering why Charlie brought you all out here. He's trying to save money on the wine and the tenderloin. So he figured the longer he had you out here, the less you could eat, the less it was going to cost him. But don't let anybody fool you. Charlie's just got the deep pockets. The brains behind the operation is his wife, Laura. He stole my wine. So, Charlie only comes in when he's got a problem, doesn't come in to see you, to say, hey, how's it going? You know, I'm thinking about starting this new business. What should I do? Mayor, my sign's two feet out of the way here. What am I going to do? I already put it in. Charlie, why didn't you come to the building department first? But we all know Charlie, we love him, we know how he operates, and certainly he's not afraid to start a new venture. And certainly when you start talking about skin care and you start look. Somebody's already got some makeup on you. <laughs> How did they get makeup on you? It's optical delusion. See, no, it's not. I, my eyes are good. So, you know, let them start a new venture, and it, here we are, and talking about skin care and tattoo removal, uh, all new laser technology, and certainly I think that he's hit the hot button. I think that with all the tattoos I see are running around, that people are going to want to get rid of them sooner than they think. So again, I think Charlie and Laura, best of luck to both of you. I know you're not going to have a problem succeeding because you look at the mill you took and now it's full and you're out here. So that's a good thing. Again, congratulations and good luck. And don't worry, just eat twice as fast when you get in and you'll be able to make sure you put a dent in his wallet tonight. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um